But we are moving on. Arguably the most anticipated match of the night. It is going to be CM Punk versus the Dead Man, The Undertaker. With Undertaker's WrestleMania streak on the line. Taker currently 20 and 0 at the biggest event in wrestling history. But CM Punk coming off an amazing year and a half. Going to be looking to end Taker's undefeated streak. CM Punk, of course, former WWE champion, keeping hold of that championship for 400 plus days. An amazing run by CM Punk before ultimately that run come to an end at the hands of The Rock at the Royal Rumble. And speaking of The Rock, he is still WWE champion and The Rock going to be defending that WWE championship coming up next in the main event at the mall. John Cena, Rock, second year in a row this time. With the WWE Championship on the line. But The Undertaker now making his way to the ring. In his typical dead man fashion. Going to be making CM Punk wait though. The dead man playing mind games. Just like he does every single time he enters the squared circle. This is only Taker's. Second match since defeating Triple H last year in that Hell in a Cell match. The first match since that Hell in a Cell match being at a house show. And now, I guess you could say the first match officially since being back on TV this year. It is going to be Undertaker versus CM Punk. The dead man, one of few genuine legends in this business. Taker originally making his debut in the World Wrestling Federation at the time, back at the Survivor Series in 1990. But here in the year 2013, the dead man still going reasonably strong. Sure, he may only compete once a year or so, but the dead man, every time he does compete, putting his body and soul into the opponent. Whoever it may be, of course, tonight being CM Punk. So Taker, despite his advancing ages and the years and years of injury, Taker can still get the job done. Taker capable of defeating anyone the WWE put in front of him. This year it being CM Punk, but as you can see, Taker kicking off the match in style. But CM Punk sporting that new red ring attire tonight. Fighting back. CM Punk, the smaller man, but arguably the better wrestler between the two. The Undertaker, much more of that broaden style as we've seen over the years. Hip tossing CM Punk back into the ring. The so called best in the world has got a huge. Challenge in front of him tonight. But Undertaker batting him back, going top right. We have seen this move over the years. That big clothesline from the dead man. The CM Punk again fighting back with that big snap power slam on this big six foot seven monster. We have seen in the weeks leading up to this one. The disgraceful actions that CM Punk has done at the hands of The Undertaker and his former manager who recently tragically passed away. There are seemingly no boundaries for CM Punk though. Whether that is a good idea or not, I'm not exactly sure you'd assume. Whilst that might take Taker off his game a little bit, it's just going to make Taker even more angry than normal and that frustration. Taker is going to be wanting to put on CM Punk tonight at Mania. 
but currently CM Punk with a decent amount of offense early on. Oh, but Taker back in control. That big rush next week. I definitely expect this match to go back and forth every few seconds. Both these competitors. Great competitors at that. But CM Punk. Going Snake Eyes. Take off the ropes. Oh, go for that big clothesline. But CM Punk accustomed to it. These two great superstars I met previously numerous times back in 2009. That time fighting over CM Punk's World Championship. Take up managing to defeat Punk on a couple of occasions. Though CM Punk defeat and Taker also. When that feud was all said and done, I could be wrong. But I do believe Taker leaving that feud on top. Leaving that feud as the World Champion. But that was a few years ago. As we fast forward to 2013, Punk coming off an extraordinary year is going to believe he can defeat the dead man tonight. Despite the previous 20 attempts by various men, including the likes of Diesel, Psycho Sid, Kane on a few occasions, Shawn Michaels, Triple H, man after man, no one has defeated the dead man. For reasons such as this, but Dead Man putting his body weight, absolutely destroying CM Punk. CM Punk got to be broken in half after being driven through the barricade. Taker lucky not to be disqualified in this one. Then again, can you imagine the reaction from the crowd if Taker got disqualified? That would not be good at all. Arguably, Charles Robinson signed his death warrant. And mentioning Charles Robinson, the Undertaker just taking him out, possibly accidentally. We will never know. Taker going for that chair. But the referee quickly back to his feet. But what is this? Oh, an early tombstone onto a steel chair. A tombstone on a CM Punk on the outside of the ring on that steel chair. This one could be over early on. Can Taker get the pin? CM Punk shown that willpower that made him world champion. And now submission hold locked in. CM Punk seemingly showing zero effect from that tombstone pile driver. You've got to assume the adrenaline has kicked in for CM Punk. As this is arguably bigger than any championship CM Punk has won in his career. If CM Punk can defeat the streak. If he can defeat the dead man then arguably having that streak is going to be worth more than any championship reign he's ever had in his career. But it's not going to be an easy task as we've seen. The Taker can get back up from anything and Taker again with that second signature clothesline off that top rope. Sending this near 7 footer, 300 pounder through the air, chopping CM Punk down to the mat. These two again locking up. Taker, what's he going to be going for? Showing some great power, that delayed vertical suplex taking Punk again. But Punk now sweeping the legs of the dead man. And if the dead man has any disadvantage in general, or any weakness, should I say, then it has got to beat the lower half of his body. So the knees, the legs, that has got to beat CR Punk's game plan. And if he is to defeat the dead man here at WrestleMania 29. A lot easier said than done. The dead man continues to fight back. See how Punk going for a suplex of his own. Not to be though. Great counter by the dead man. Float over into that neck breaker. And now hip toss. Hip toss and CM Punk back into the ring. I bet CM Punk wishes he has not disrespected the dead man as much as he has in previous weeks. Because this time, the early on, this is not turning out good for CM Punk. And taking that signature clothesline again. And now picking Punk back to his feet. Before plying him down with that vicious DDT into the cover. 
Only a one count. Sian Punk showing some great fight, kicking out after this assault. Only at a one count. But taking out, not taking his foot off the gas, continuing this assault on CM Punk, who has disrespected not only Taker, but the memory of his former manager and mentor, Paul Bearer. Another back suplex, the weight of the dead man, going through the body of CM Punk, CM Punk landing on that neck and back for a numerous time but CM Punk again fighting back sending the dead man to the outside of the ring as, ref as the referee continues his 10 count these men got to be careful they do not get counted out that would not be a very good way to end this match can you imagine the uproar from the fans here at Mania if this match was to end and via a countdown or disqualification. I think that is at a count of seven, maybe. But take her back in and breaking that count. Taker does not want to defeat CM Punk that way. Taker does not want to win by a count out. Taker wants to destroy CM Punk. And Taker wants to show. See, I'm punk, but he should have not have disrespected Taker and definitely not disrespected Taker's full manager, Paul Bearer. But to his credit, CM Punk hanging in there with the Phenom. CM Punk so far equal to the dead man, the dead man again showing that frustration, taking out the referee. Whether that was on purpose or accidental, we will never know. Again, this match on the outside for a large portions of this one. And another spinning neck breaker by the former WWE champion. With the feet on fighting back. Right hand after right hand. The dead man possessing the arguably the best series of punches in WWE history. Taker again breaking that 10 count. Was this? Oh, a big stalling German suplex sending the dead man through the announcer's table. This is a golden opportunity for CM Punk to end the streak. CM Punk has got to get taken back into the ring, though. But Taker already to his feet, showing no signs of that German suplex through the table. And again, CM Punk flowing the dead man over into that wrist lock. But Taker has that foot near the rope. Referee forcing Punk to relinquish the hold. But this does continue. The assault on Taker's arm. But Punk is not in a good way. You can see Punk holding his head. Holding his back. Punk has been put through severe punishment in this one. And a sidewalk slam by the 300 pound man. And now take up putting Punk on that top rope. Punk in a bad situation now. Punch after punch. And I think we're going to be seeing a 300 pound super backdrop. Undertaker sending CM Punk for the ride. And now Taker in firm control of this one. Taking all that pent up frustration and anger out of the hands of the so called best in the world CM Punk. Running DDT, a move we have seen many times over the years by the Phenom. And another DDT. Undertaker just playing with CM Punk at this point. I'm sure if he wanted to, Taker could get the pin for at any moment. But ladies and gentlemen, do not forget... This is not the final match on the card. We have still got Rock Cena 2 this time for the WWE title. But in the ring, Taker, can he connect? He can. Tombstone pole driver. This one has got to be over. One, two, three. No, CM Punk kicking out of the tombstone pole driver. 
Very few men have kicked out of that manoeuvre over the years, but CM Punk added to that very short list of men that have now. Irish whip and a big boot to the lifeless CM Punk. CM Punk looks to be finished as far as this match goes. Taken out, just playing with Punk. Kick after kick after kick. Another Irish whip. Oh, and a big power slam. Almost a bear hug type slam. And now again for the second time. And a big one this time. The Tombstone Pole Driver for the second time. This has got to be it. No, CM Punk continues to kick out of everything the dead man has thrown at him. CM Punk kicking out of two Tombstone Pole Drivers. That has got to be never seen before. But CM Punk doing it at WrestleMania. Is that a sign CM Punk has got luck on his side? Can CM Punk end the streak of a dead man? Currently take a continuing assault. CM Punk cannot muster anything back. But somehow, someway, CM Punk continuing to stay alive. Oh, but CM Punk quickly to his feet as the Undertaker was signaling for another tombstone. But CM Punk finally gets some offense in. Oh, and another big German suplex. What power shown by Punk to suplex this 300 pound man. Both men throwing punches and kicks. CM Punk with the advantage this time. Another German suplex. This one with authority. Oh, and a huge kick to the back of the head of the dead man. The dead man now, for the first time in a long time, showing some pain on his face. Another big kick to the back of the head. And the spine by Punk. Is it's a sign that CM Punk is going to be ending the streak as he continues this vicious assault on the dead man. CM Punk reversal after reversal. Whether CM Punk wins this match, whether CM Punk loses this match, you have got to give CM Punk a shit ton of credit. CM Punk held on his own against the dead man and now another neck breaker. With momentum possibly on his side, CM Punk now with the dead man on the map. And a big cup and blow to the face of the Undertaker. Irish whip. Oh, but countered by the dead man. Big knee to CM Punk. This is a bad situation for CM Punk. CM Punk getting the life punched out of him. A lifeless Punk falling down to the mat. And again, Punk being put in that corner. A bad, bad predicament to be in. This is not good for Punk. This is not good at all. Super choke slam off the top rope. A huge choke slam by the Phenom. Calling for it. Can it connect with a third Tombstone Pole Driver? Yes, he can. Tombstone number three for the best in the world. Surely this time. And it took three tombstones, but finally, The Undertaker has defeated CM Punk here at WrestleMania 29. The Undertaker now 21-0 at WrestleMania. The Undertaker's WrestleMania streak stays alive.